the whole idea of the bakery started because I have been for many years frustrated with the fact that interesting cookie shapes are very wasteful. When you make cookies yourself, you roll out a dough and you can of course cut it into diamonds or squares or rectangles and for some cookies that is done. But most often you'd have interesting shapes that you punch out with a cookie cutter and then you have all this dough that's not, that doesn't have enough space to punch out more shapes and you reassemble it, you roll it out again and you punch out more cookies. And it's wasteful of time, but that's not the worst thing. Because the cookie, the dough needs extra flour for rolling out, it absorbs more flour and the cookies become less fine every time. So I thought, have thought for a long time that it would be nice to have cookie cutters that actually tile the plane so that there would be no waste. And some years ago, I designed such a cookie shape for Pi Day. I made such cookies and I thought they were very cool. So when I mentioned this to the uh, other team members, they said, oh yeah, that would be great. And so we have a bakery and that will illustrate tiling. And then when tiling came up, people said, oh, we can illustrate other things. We can have an interesting tiling on the floor and we can have links with dynamical systems and with symmetry groups. And that's where it all came from. To illustrate all these ideas in the bakery, we have a baker who is standing there working and he is in the process of rolling out his dough with cookie shapes that tile. But his table also has a very special form. His table has a kind of U form, a hood or horseshoe form. And that is reminiscent of ideas in dynamical systems theory, where this idea of having something that stretches in one direction and gets folded over, just like the baker's transformation, as you make dough, as you make puff pastry, for instance, uh, plays a role in, in mathematics. And so it alludes to that. And uh, on the floor, we have this tiling by uh, uh, non-regular pentagons by Marjorie Rice, who was uh, a housewife interested in mathematics and she designed tilings that had not been discovered yet. Um, on the wall, on one of the walls, we have symmetries illustrated by a wallpaper that shows all the wallpaper groups that can easily be knitted. And actually this will be a knitted wallpaper by Susan Goldstein. And uh, there are 17 wallpaper groups. Eight of them can not be knitted so easily because they have 30 or 60 degree symmetry, but, 11, uh, but nine of them can, and we will show them there. Challenges in designing the bakery. There are many, of course, because first thinking of ideas. Well, that was not really a problem. The, the, the problem was integrating them in such a way that they all fit and that it doesn't become too crowded. So there are many, many different ideas, but many are in small details in the bakery. And uh, some participants thought that it might become too full. But as long as we keep it in details that don't overwhelm, uh, there's room for all of that, I think. Uh, this will be a piece where even people who've seen it quite a few times, who walk by it all the time, will say, oh, look at that. I hadn't seen that before. Now that's really cool. There's also the challenge in actually making it. Uh, the walls will be made out of wood and some of it will have to be milled very and cut very precisely. And that's done by Edmund Harris, uh, helped by Gavin Smith. And uh, Gavin is not himself a member of the team, but he is one of the woodworkers we commissioned to build the base of the whole structure, given that we could not have access to the woodworking group at uh, Duke University because of COVID. Many people are working on the bakery. Of course, in our discussions, everybody participated. And so there are ideas that came from many other people. I already mentioned Susan Goldstein, who had the idea of the Marjorie Rice styling on the floor and who's knitting the wallpapers. Uh, the wallpaper groups for that one special wall. Uh, I also mentioned Edmund Harris, who is not only making the walls and designing all that, but also is designing beautiful uh, symmetric patterns that involve pentagons and uh, heptagons. 
because the bakery is ha is adjacent to the lighthouse, which has the heptagon as its its organizing principle. The bakery has the pentagon, so there is a wall that connects between the two that makes that transition. Um, there, uh, Dominique is stitching the the, uh, the 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 floor covering in the Marjorie Rice styling. Uh, the the figure of the bigger is being made by uh, Mary and Liz. Liz is making the head and the paws. She's our ceramist. She makes beautiful critters, and uh, uh, Mary is is making his whole costume. Our cat, by the way, is called Arnold, and Mary will stitch his name on 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 his uniform because, uh, well, he's a cat, uh, and. That already is linked with dynamical systems. Uh, Vladimir Arnold was a very famous Russian mathematician who worked on dynamical systems. And to illustrate uh, the stretching and compressing, he worked with a model of uh, a kind of diagonal figure uh, of a cat that got stretched and so on, and then was cut back into pieces to fit back into the square. And everybody calls that Arnold's cat. So once we made the link with dynamical system, we knew our baker was going to be a cat called Arnold. I hope Arnold students won't mind too much that we are a little bit irreverent here. Other parts of mathematical alchemy with which I'm involved are, to some extent, the lighthouse. Uh, I thought I played a role in, in, in the mural that will be the link between Lighthouse and the bakery. Uh, to some extent, the Integration Hill. Uh, I helped design the construction of the hill with its Lebec terraces and its uh, Riemann uh, columns, its Riemann cliffs. Uh, but I, I really like to, to, to be peripherally involved with everything. Uh, unlike many of the team members, I am not an expert mathematical crafter. And so I view myself a little bit of an apprentice to everybody who's willing to replay that role. What were surprises in mathematical? Uh, the biggest surprise is that it works. Uh, Dominique and I had this fantastic idea and we took her first little model to uh, the joint mathematics, and we hoped that people would be interested, but we weren't sure because for artists, it's usually a very individual, very personal uh, undertaking to create a piece of art. And here we were asking them to collaborate in a way they had never done. And 40 people signed up at the joint meetings and then other people were recruited. And now we have this team of people who are enthusiastic, who collaborate, really laugh a lot uh, in our meetings. We make all kinds of puns and, and talk about this completely imaginary world. Uh, it's a lot of fun and it's wonderful. So uh, yeah, that's a big surprise. And it has been a big, big support for us. We had no idea COVID would hit us, but uh, it's all of us, I think, enjoy having this connection with a group of like-minded, fun people during this isolated period.